Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We still have more chances for rain and showers in the seven day here in the Rogue Valley, although we will see more sunshine coming up, mixing in with the clouds as well. The upper level low is off to our south and southwest, and this upper level low is what's been giving us some areas of moisture moving in from the south and also southwest. So during the afternoon and evening hours, we've had a few of those rain showers move through. We will see more energy moving in from the south and southwest, not only Wednesday, but also potentially into Wednesday night. Our temperatures are going to generally be in the 60s and 70s for highs here in the Rogue Valley, so those temperatures are actually going to be below normal, which is nice. We're getting a little break from the heat that we've been dealing with over the last, uh, well, several weeks before this, and that was actually keeping a lot of the smoke and the haze in here along with the dry conditions. So far, Medford has reported about a quarter of an inch of rain since Saturday during the latter half of the afternoon to the evening hours this past weekend. So this is really good news overall. You can see the upper level low spinning around with the areas of rain and moisture through parts of California. We also have some more showers moving into the Great Basin here, Utah as well, and the remnants of Rosa causing all the flash flooding in parts of Arizona that is moving towards the Four Corners areas and uh, or Four Corners area and also moving off to the north and northeast from there. For us, yes, we will see some more showers. We'll talk about that in just a bit here in the pinpoint forecast overnight tonight. Some clouds around moving through. It'll be cool. There could be a few showers this evening. And then during the day on Wednesday, we're going to see some more clouds mixing in with some sunshine. The better chances for showers will be over northern California and also along and east of the Cascades during the afternoon and evening hours. There could even be a few thunderstorms here. Those rain showers and Isolated thunderstorms will start to diminish Wednesday night into early Thursday morning and during the day Thursday. It's actually looking pretty good here in the Rogue Valley. We will see more sunshine and those highs generally in the 60s to around 70 for the coast. Low temperatures tonight will be in the 40s and 50s. There is a slight chance for a shower overnight. Otherwise, some areas of fog and low clouds in tomorrow morning highs tomorrow. 50s and 60s. We're looking at clouds around mixing in possibly with some sunshine. There's a possibility also for some showers to develop during the day. Moving inland, lows will be in the 40s and 50s. A few evening showers, otherwise cool temperatures to start out your Wednesday. Highs tomorrow, 60s and 70s. Clouds around mixing in with some sunshine. There is a possibility for some scattered showers to develop during the afternoon and evening hours. Best chance down towards Siskiyou County, Northern California, and there could even be a few isolated thunderstorms. East of the Cascades, lows will generally be in the 30s and 40s. And your highs will be in the 50s and 60s. Crater Lake, I have you at 39 and 49. This evening, there could be a few showers, otherwise cool temperatures overnight for tomorrow. Clouds mixing in with some sunshine. There's a chance for some scattered showers to develop, and there could be a few thunderstorms as well into Wednesday evening. Rogue Valley 7-day. A chance for a few of those showers developing Wednesday during the afternoon and evening. Otherwise, highs in the 60s and 70s in this 7-day forecast. Thursday's looking good. Lows will be in the 40s and 50s, generally speaking. There is a chance for rain with another system moving in later Friday afternoon to the evening hours and a slight chance for morning showers Saturday, otherwise drying out after that into Sunday for the Klamath Basin. I have a chance for some showers developing Wednesday afternoon to the evening hours, especially there could be a thunderstorm. Slight chance for morning showers Thursday, otherwise drying out. And then another system moves in later Friday into Friday night for a chance for more rain. There could be some leftover rain showers Saturday morning, highs in the 50s and 60s. Mount Shasta City, a chance for some scattered showers developing Wednesday, especially afternoon to the evening hours. Maybe a thunderstorm, slight chance for morning shower Thursday, drying out after that. Next system moves in later Friday into Friday night for another chance for rain, highs in the 50s and 60s. And a slight chance for a few morning showers Saturday, otherwise drying out for the weekend. That's good for the coast. I have a slight chance for a few showers Wednesday, then a good chance for rain moving in with that system on Friday into Friday night. There could be some leftover showers Saturday, especially during the morning, and a slight chance for more rain or showers next Tuesday. 